Hey guys, Nico here. This is my new 3x3 piston door. It is very, very compact, and today I'm going to show you how it works and how to build it. Um, let's see what it does. That's it closed very, very quick. And then opening also very quick. Um, I think this is the most practical door for survival just because it's um, pretty resource friendly. It's quick, it's um, it's flexible, it doesn't break and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's build it. So to start off, you want to uh, decide where you want your door to be. I'm well, I want my door to be right here, so this is going to be the floor. And then you want to have this three wide obviously and then in the middle a double this next extender like that. Then block right there and the block right there. Then this is going to be your input. So you also want to think about that uh, if you want to have it right here or right here or here. Because to power this input, you want to have a repeater right here or here. That's the only possibility, basically. So, um, yeah, I recommend you to think about that. And um, then let's start. So you have that redstone right there a block to the right and then a torch right there and so then you want to have a sticky piston facing the double extender right there and so what this does is you have this input right there and then that's what happens and that's because this redstone turns on and then one tick later the block gets removed by that piston so that's very simple and then we actually want after that to we want this piston to extend after that, so it put, puts its block underneath the, that block, so it does like that. And the way we do that is by having a torch right there. And um, that's your storage piston, make sure to have it. And so what this does is it, it gives that one to pulse and it puts that block underneath. But it also extends this piston because this torch repowers this piston when it's retracted and so it fires into the activated signal from the input and powers that piston again and then when you turn the input off it's going to retract the first block because this turns off and then two ticks later because it's two torches this turns off so it gets that first block all the way over there and then all we have to do is fire the double extender and um, the way we do that is first by having a, a falling edge detector. So you want to have a repeater right there with a block in front and then a torch on top. Block on top of that torch and block right, blocks like this. And then two repeaters. The bottom one is going to be uh, on one and this one is going to be on three ticks. And then you want to have a block of this repeater down here. That's on top. And then Place block right there so it takes power from this repeater right there too. And then a block to the side with the torch on top. Block right there and the redstone. And so what this does is nothing because we haven't fired the bottom piston yet. And um, yeah, so basically what we're doing on this side is not the full double extender. This is basically the retraction part. So you have this, and then this will give a one tick pulse, which will force the piston when it's up here to grab this block and then go down. And then this repeater is when this piston is down here and this block is right there, is to fire that piston and then grab this block back to there. So that's only two actions instead of the uh, full block extender, and I can show you that really doesn't do anything. In order to make it to finish a circuit, you want to have redstone down there and a torch right there and then a repeater on four ticks going into this piston. And so now when we flip this lever, it just closes like we did before and then opening grabs the first block. And so you might be wondering what the hell, how does that work? So yeah, um, What's going on is this piston extends like that. And then when you come to back here, 
you can see that this piston is actually powered right and then this was actually powered before this one was powered because there's a long delay and so it doesn't extend yet because it can't push this extended piston right there but when you turn it off it's going to retract that block down instantly and then two ticks later it's going to grab it to the side and at that moment which is when this torch turns off at the same time this torch down, down here is going to turn off and I can actually show you what's going on so you have this piston and it's powered and we have this torch so it updates the piston from this range which is 2 so it'll make this piston extend because it's still powered by that repeater and then uh, just one tick later this signal here turns on and then two ticks later so it grabs that block and then two ticks later this repeater is going to turn off finally and then this repeater decides the last pulse so um, I can actually show you um, you have this block right there I can just place a torch right there Oh. A lot of lag right now. Um, yeah. So what's going on? Just to uh, have a look. It's very quick. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, that was really laggy. Um, well, I hope you get how it works. And um, let's just place the side pistons, and then we're done. So we're gonna have a torch right there with the block on top, and then. Um, Let's place the pistons. One, two, three on this side. And then up. So you get the door like this. And then up here you want to have two sticky pistons like this. And on the side here you also want to have two. So it looks like that. It's a bit different from the other doors. But that doesn't matter because it does the exact same thing. And um, yeah, so from this block here, redstone, run up this stair, and then to the side here, so it'll actually power this piston too. And then place a repeater right there to power that piston, and then up with redstone right there. Place another repeater into a block, so it powers that piston right there. Then that's going to power this redstone, and that's going to go down, like that. And then redstone right there. And then, this is the redstone of it, and then you might be wondering, how the hell are you going to power that bottom piston at the, at the left right here? It's very simple, we just need to update it. We use a single normal regular piston, which will extend, and so it will update the bottom piston right there. So you can just fill this up, and um, give it a run. So it's closed. And then it's open. Um, so there we, there you go. Um, I guess uh, have fun, use it, and I'll see you guys next time.